Right. I'm not even gonna put your your oh, objects don't out. Do that. Don't Oh god, who cares about the, uh, the McCrayon crystal? My crayon crystal? Who cares? <laughs> Didn't crayon. pick up. I instantaneous. I'm like, uh, whoa! I can charge this dude. Heck yeah! Screw this stupid relic. The one listener. thing I put on my team. That I was if you are unaware for. and you are listening for the first time, it turned out tabletop simulator did not work out well for us. Calder may have gone insane after. Over an hour and a half of play, and no recording to show for it. Here we will oh. recap for you those last days of Calder's life. Uh, hello, welcome back to another installment of Thursday <laughs> Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other. And that's right, you, you, the viewer, listener, vote for the figures on our teams. Uh, this week, I called her next. The insane freaking ranch hand is going to be building out of giant size. You got my placement wrong, by the way. I mean, you know, it doesn't go there. Uh, giant size X Men. Simeon is building out of Captain America. <laughs> ah! well, Simeon is building out of the Captain. He's just gone. Oh, there he is. Uh, Simeon is building out of the Captain America set. No 75 idea. out of 2011. Ah. Uh, all right, uh, I won map. I actually got a theme team for the first time in this history of the show in the five months, whatever, eight, four yeah, months, whatever. It, it mattered. Show. Calder did matter theme. I so got theme. I got to choose map. I used, rolled, I used theme props. I think I rolled higher than him, but he had theme props. So, yeah. It actually, it actually mattered. My plus three to theme. So I just moved up, threw some Magneto on top of some buildings. It was Juggernaut came with him, you know. And then Sabretooth was actually, we had the McCrayon crystal, the silver crayon crystal, and it just didn't matter. Sabretooth was just somewhere. He was sitting on it, but he didn't pick it up. Who cares? You know, that Simeon took his turn. It took him five minutes because he had freaking 18 million characters. 500-point game. 500 points. Magneto is 191 points. What's something? 89 points. And he doesn't have willpower? He doesn't have willpower? Oh, Indom, and everyone's like, you gotta play this man, you know, throw two objects. Oh my gosh. Let's get into our teams, Calder, before we recap oh, the whole match. Let's get into our teams before we do uh, the entire so I had game. This my bad. Super sweet mo Nomad. He actually did some damage during the game. You won't see any of that. Uh, but he was a 10 for 3 with willpower most of his dial. He saw some in cap clicks. He did some in capping. He uh, was pretty solid for 63 points. Uh, we made some jokes about. Uh, his weird outfit and his hair overall style yeah so laugh at those except you you will never hear them uh i also played this captain america bouncing the shield off the wall he is huge in this game so let's just let's look at him real quick look at this monster since he's a peanut base he is like triple the size of everyone in this game you know for dummy thick simeon read about it you know this super big yeah I'm is Chad Birdsaw. Good lord, the man's got it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so, Captain America, he uh, begins the game with the shield. As long as he has it. don't go into this tray. He can, like, throw it for damage. Doesn't yeah. matter. He didn't he's got, once he's got throw energy the shield. shield. Not a single time. His energy shield. Or did he shield ever mode. take all the damage? He, he never also never used damage. running shot because uh, he's got a printed zero, and I couldn't remember the ruling on anything so that was that guy um i had batrock he actually got some hits in he has a uh, leap climb when he resolves a move action he may make a close combat attack as a free attack i said something about how he's similar to the adw one he never saw his savate master but that gives him flurry and uh only to attack characters that can't use combat reflexes or leap climb but uh fact, he never 11. did that Backrocks. I really do, or ten, whatever the Christmas song is a meme for. But yeah. a bunch of them. He's pretty yeah, decent, once. to be oh, honest. Uh, full move, cool. nine squares for ten for two, and you could perplex yeah, that up if you had the Dial eight silver age value corner value. It Drew actually picked. Pretty neat. Yeah. Real neat. Boy. Pot. Keep going. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> so next up on the team was Squirrel Girl. She, of course, can make Monkey Joe. He's an 8-8-16 for one with Leap Climb. Super senses. 
I used him to tie up Magneto while he was on so that crazy move. when you crit hit me and <laughs> yeah I never did that I really wanted uh, Monkey Joe to do something but really all he did was tie up Magneto um, Squirrel Girl did get a hit or two on but Magneto ended up killing her at some point and also KOing Monkey Joe in the process as per the trait uh, but it worked out. It was uh, the tie-up that I needed, so that's the whole reason I did it. Dirk Anger is real cool. He does this thing with leadership. Other characters can't use leadership. That's a pretty cool thing he does. Opposing characters within four can't use team abilities. Uh, turned out Juggernaut just turned him into paste, so it didn't really matter. Uh, unusual weapons didn't ever get to use that because he just died right away. Uh, I moved him up way too fast. Calder killed him. It was pretty fun. Weapon X, he came in on click one. I pushed him to click two. Um, almost pushed him to click three, but he killed Magneto before that could happen. And uh, Cap Wolf, he uh, has super senses and shape change. I missed my super sense roll, and Calder attacked me with his saber tooth that has uh, some good old battle fury, so battle I get my fury. shape change. Bay, bay. And he just ate through my dial. Real quick, I was way too careless with this guy, and it would have been cool if I got a few attacks off on it with him, but uh, I just didn't. I didn't. Um, but that's that's my team. I'm getting. I've gotten better at roll twenty. You guys, it's anyone pretty, pretty anyone watching that has epilepsy would have probably had some problems with my previous recording because I was all over the place. Flashing screen happening to you too. It's like going completely dark, or is that just me? No. This is like, wow! That's All absolutely right, absolutely just, just you and Discord. All yeah. right, awesome, awesome. It's helping my sanity. Magneto, 189 points, no willpower. Why is magnetic field <laughs> ESD never once hit with a ranged combat attack? Because no one ever made any against him. He can use carry carry four characters. Guess what? Saber Tooth's got battle fury. You don't have enough characters to carry four. It's only carried one. I can modify his combat value. He's plus one if he's occupying a square that contains a debris marker. Guess what never happened? Occupying a debris marker! So uh, then Magnetic Mastery for his first six clicks. Power action. He gives telekinesis twice as a free action. What? If Magneto uses telekinesis, option three. Increased damage, don't buy two. You know, option three, which I can totally see in my pack in 2020. Option three. Awesome. So cool. At least you I don't guess have that that terrible pulse wave power until your last three clicks that's so true it's i would real hate good to start with that you definitely garbage. didn't get to like your last click with pulse wave and roll a three that's real yeah, good i totally didn't be like i offer flux up my attack try a pulse wave as whole team and then you know roll a three a trace a what a dry and then he's got magnetic shield which is toughness characters half their range values and magneto is one of their targets guess what never happened yeah the toughness was like, okay, you know, I sure do love the best reducer on my 189-point <laughs> character being toughness. It kept Monkey oh, Joe from killing you. That's Magneto. By the way, I don't know if he's supposed to have the freaking X-Men team ability, but he does on here. Pretty sure he's supposed to have Brotherhood. I don't freaking know, man. Uh, but I, by the way, don't discount all the hard work that's been going on as tabletop simulator. It's pretty cool. Sabretooth. He's got this real sweet attack power of any of, you know, Simeon's characters ever lived long enough to heal, which is a cool mortal wound. When a, when a character takes three or more damage from Sabretooth's attack, that character can't be healed for the rest of the game. Even if his power is countered or lost. That's pretty neat. Yeah, uh, I think he's got a... Uh, uh, who did that happen to? Cap Wolf? A Cap Wolf, you know, it was all that regen on Cap Wolf style. Yeah. You know. He couldn't uh, be And then, you know, he's got a combat... Combat reflexes, ladies and gentlemen. Combat yeah, it's a 19 for close. <laughs> Rule 19 for close, it would be a real shame if he got shot and then, you know, failed every single rollout. Oh my gosh, every single rollout in the entire game. <laughs> and then Juggernaut, Mystical Helmet, which which was never, never busted off his head. That helmet was super glued to Juggernaut. Yeah. No one ever dealt him more damage. At the beginning of the game, he gets a, gets a helmet token on his car. While that token is on the car, he modifies his defense by plus one. Can't be targeted by Incapacitate. Oh, you targeted with Incapacitate? What? It totally did. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. 
Mind control and pen blast. Totally forgot about the incapacitate part. Simeon, Simeon cheated. Um, whatever. <laughs> Majority Mind takes three damage from a single attack. Remove the token. Never once took three damage from a single attack. So he had that plus one defense when it totally mattered on all those 15 defense clicks. It actually mattered on his very last click. Someone rolled a six and they had a 10 attack. And I'm like, no, no, no. Juggernaut's got plus one defense. I don't think so. Uh, the best trait Juggernaut had was ignore his hindering terrain. Movement purposes automatically just breaks away. So this was huge in just positioning things wise. It was actually pretty cool. I probably could use it a little bit better late game. Uh, but hey, check it out. Nothing can stop the Juggernaut snitch. Uh, Juggernaut can use charge. Doesn't half his halve, halve his speed value when using it. When he moves due to his own action along a straight or horizontal vertical path, he ignores all terrain except elevated. So no charging off the buildings. For that action, after action is resolved, destroy each wall and square blocking terrain that crossed his pass and movement. So few walls. And I know what you're thinking. This pairs perfectly with Magneto's debris token trait. Yeah, it just didn't work out. Magneto's never in his spots to put it into the walls. These magic poor low town map things. It just, just didn't happen. So that's my team. I mean, give us a quick recap of what happened in this game. All right. So turn one, I moved Cap Wolf up here. I was like, ah, oh, Batrock can get to people, but he can't really do any damage. So I'm not going to move him up. I put Squirrel Girl in Stealth. I put uh, Captain America. So uh, I, I think I left him there. I moved Nomad here, for sure. Uh, let me let me spin it. I put Dirk Anger in Stealth right there, and I think I called it good with those four actions. Uh, Calder's turn went something like Saber Tooth attack. Saber Tooth went up and he was like a bonk bonk Captain America and, missing. Yeah, Good old and then Jump Wolf took a took some damage. Took a real cool little little move, one square, mm -hmm. then charge the rest. Yeah, of the right whole here. six squares, and I just deleted him with a heavy object. He missed the senses, and Captain Cap Wolf was just blocked gone. Yep. So that was that. And you turn. know, clear. A willpower, hundred eight point character. And so after that, uh, I had uh, the good old. Uh, Willpower on Nomad, and I had Perplex on this Dirk Anger. So I misplaced and went like this, or I was actually closer like this, with Captain America to attack a Juggernaut. And then I realized I could Perplex with Dirk Anger and then shoot with Nomad. I think I hit Juggernaut for like one and then one. Yeah. He Come never on, made any rollout roll. with Juggernaut. <laughs> never made roll a out. single rollout. Uh, meanwhile, Weapon X went from... Uh, turn one with me, he went to click two, and then he went to click three, and he's got that whole countdown click thing. So, Weapon X, uh, click two on my first turn, click three on my second turn, and then eventually he would get to. He was sweet, getting ready. Yeah, that was shaking. He, was, he couldn't wait. Uh, no. So, we were all actioned up right here. I called turn. I didn't want to throw Badrick up, though, up there without anything. Real substantial to happen. I don't know what I was waiting for. Uh, Calder, what did your what did your second turn look like? I was waiting for to just go up and charge and just smack and smack freaking uh, Dirk Anger to his last click when he grabbed the heavy object on his way. Heavy yeah. object so, shown by the way. Showing the heavy objects. Dirk Anger had a whole two turns, two turns of life, and then bonk. There he went. Get him off the board. Why is he still here, Simeon? That was a sad flick. There, he's there off, into the, off into the never Oh, I get it. Dirk Anger. Get it? Because he's part of hate, which is a thing like S.H.I.E.L.D. Nick Fury. Fury. Anger. So clever, you comic book writers. Wow. And then Sabretooth had a clear. Magneto tried to shoot somebody, but he missed because Magneto sucks. Yeah. He tried to shoot Cap. I think he might have shot Dirk Anger right as well. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. remember. But, yeah. That was a whole um, hour ago. So that happened. I think Nomad moved to like here. He moved two squares. Shot at Sabretooth. Uh, I finally brought Batrock up to there. Uh, I made my monkey Joe bystander and placed it adjacent to Magneto. And eventually I would Which bring was my Squirrel Girl. the threat to Magneto the entire game. Yeah. Magneto didn't make any of his breakaways. And so he just got stuck up there with a squirrel for the entire game. Uh, meanwhile, Weapon X was on click four. Uh, I think your next turn, Juggernaut charged over to Nomad and missed with like Nomad. a Nomad. Missed him, baby. Whiffed it four yeah, or something. Hit it a was 15. pretty bad. 
totally terrible. By this time, I don't remember, but Sabretooth was hurting pretty bad. I didn't make any attacks against Backtrack. All I remember was he knocked me to regen. I regened it back up. Yeah. Uh, I think I had like, I think I had Juggernaut's attack even, and I still missed. Like, I was wasting these theme probs on this awful, like, I had crit <laughs> and I rolled to the floor or something. Whatever. Magneto was like, well, I can't just be next to a stupid squirrel. I'm a running shot 11 for four. But nope, fail breakaway. Nice try, Magneto. Go to the graveyard. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, Juggernaut ran over there. Uh, I Sabretooth regen. I hit him back to his regen, and then I decided I didn't want him to regen again. So I charged up with Cap, finished him off. Uh, that was all she wrote for good old Sabretooth. He was, uh, you know, pretty much gone at that point. Um, this point, my weapon X was free, so he came up here. I uh, did a big old roll of a one on blades to do zero damage to Juggernaut. That was pretty sweet. I think Nomad mm -hmm. did another one to Juggernaut, maybe. Um, I think this was a turn where you just cleared. I did, like, another one with Nova. I moved. The fact that Brotherhood of Mutants team ability, we never once, never once rolled a 10 in the entire <laughs> game. Or higher, yeah. So this is the point where uh, I had, like, Four people surrounding Juggernaut. I was dishing out a bunch of attacks, doing one or two damage. Eventually got him to his sweet, sweet toughness clicks, where he's got the helmet still on, because I've never once done enough damage. And so... You know what it's I'm like when you, like, hurt a chicken in Legend of Zelda? <laughs> well, Juggernaut's Link, and everybody was chickens! And he was just getting pecked to death with yeah. all these little three damages... Ah. So good old Juggernaut got the a big old boot. Let me let me hang on. I'm not no no. Uh, uh. Sad. Yeah. Sad. Oh, okay. He oh is my God. Uh, out of there. Uh, there you go. So from that point on, I think Nomad was actually to Juggernaut. Yeah, Juggernaut made a few quake attacks. So he definitely Did. took out Nomad. All... He did no, he killed Nomad, but with everybody else he missed. We had 19 defense, 18 defenses. Nomad, he was out of there, but, uh, you know, so I don't know. He's It's okay. Winter Soldier didn't kill better for him. He didn't get depressed and have to see his daughter like something. I don't think you know. Nomad's life sucks, by the way. Anyways, keep going, Simeon. Juggernaut's traded hey, live. And, it, and Magneto was still tied up to a squirrel at this point. I rolled the same attack value that uh, Calder rolled when trying to pulse wave a few turns later. Uh, Batrock moved up here. We eventually moved Captain America there. Uh, I pushed Monkey Joe to die with Squirrel Girl sitting right here so that Weapon X could move to where Monkey Joe was. The plan was to make another Monkey Joe in this square and uh, have him eventually finish off Magneto. Magneto uh, tried to Pulse Wave, rolled a big oh, that's old... Good. Actually, not Three. enough. First, he single target and just freaking punched and nuked Squirrel Girl off the face of the planet. She was, it was like, hey, I see what you done did to Doctor Doom. Let me tell you something. I'm just going to stab these Squirrel. I'm just, get out of here with your stump, lady. Yeah. I'm pretty good at killing Canadian mutants. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. So from that point on, uh, everyone on my team could do damage to, uh, to good old Magneto because uh, his reducer was toughness. And I was making a bunch of close attacks with the two damage and blades. So I eventually rolled like a four. Uh, never rolled higher than a four. It was mostly twos. Um, I, don't, I think we allowed cap. I moved, I leap climbed here and free attacked after leap climbing with Batrock. And then we, we moved cap up here. I'm not sure if it was legal or not, but we did it. And yeah, then, not uh, entirely sure. I don't think it was, but yeah, it was who yeah. cares. And then, uh, I mean, uh, I think... And, you know, it was like, well, this is it. This is the time. Got yeah. a pulse wave. Rolled a three. And, uh, who killed him? Who even killed Magneto? Was it, was it Weapon X? It was Weapon, Weapon X. X. Yeah. Weapon X. Like, bonk. Because we get for ripping all the bone skeleton meat out of my body. And, hey, that was the game. You know what's the best part about this game? You know what's the best part about this game? Is it ended the, the, the freaking carded era before Oreo dials. It ended it in a tile. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. And I was basically this hysterical uh, at the end of it. And I, I may or may not have flipped the table. I mean, 
Not the way Simeon's doing it. Good Lord, you're going to crash the game doing this, buddy. Oh, all this happening at the same time. Oh, look at this. Look at that beauty. Up in the table. Probably the only thing this has is better than roll 20 is the fact that you can flip. You literally, quite literally flip the table. So uh, I went ahead and I said, oh, another epic Golden Age brawls come to a close. Reminder, you can vote for what figures we use on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord this week in the comment section of this video. Next week, I'm going to build. Okay, so we, we decided because I won the first age, the non-carded age, the age of no cards, you know, that age. Um, I, I went ahead. We looked at all the sets that existed in the carded age before Oreo dials. And we were like, there's Batman Alpha. There's Watchmen. There's the Jonah Hex starter pack. The Blackest Night and Brightest Day. And then the Green Lantern movie set in Fast Forces. And we're like, well, let's choose some, some sets we can build out of. I chose Watchmen. So next week, I'll be building a Watchmen team for our tiebreaker round. And Simeon is going to be, what'd you choose, Simeon? What's, what garbage set did you choose in this card Ooh, age? I picked the good, old, age. the good old Batman Origins. Wait, do you even know what figures are in Batman Origins? Do you I want to talk about any of these figures? zero clue. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can play the Clown Prince of Crime. Wow. Wow. The the dynamic duo. Wow. Wow. All right. Look at that tie-dye man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ladies. Who can believe? <laughs> Who can believe he's single? All right. So that's Thursday Throwdown. Sorry this is what had to happen. Sorry my sanity is gone. Hopefully this is uploaded by tomorrow and not three days later like should it was be, last week. Should be easy to, to edit Could this. Be. Uh, nothing went wrong been, with the should... video, so everything's fine. We're fine. Everything's good. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyways. Make sure you vote for the tie-breaking set. Uh, we'll link what it match. is. This is the championship uh, tiebreaker match. Um, if you want to see actual games played on Tabletop Simulator, uh, hopefully I'll figure it out and won't mess everything up next time. And we'll actually test out like a video before we do everything. Uh, but, you know, we we did almost two hours of work, and then it was all gone. What do we, we have to show for it? This is it, yeah. This is this is what we have to show for yeah, it. Show. Yeah, we have, we, have, we have this video to show for it, our two this hours of work. This is it. So, so we don't be like, wow, it. you guys really phoned it in this week, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> we, no, we gave you a show. As best the worst as part we is could. it was a fun game to watch. I had a good time, really. It really was. It was actually a really good game. And Timmy it hurts sang me, so me a song bad. about my addiction to a video game from 13 <laughs> years ago. It was awesome. It was, yeah. So uh, <sighs> I don't even have my calculator pulled up, so I can't even sing the same song. No, we can't. save that for no, the next can't. episode of uh, Dial well, H. Yeah. Dial uh, H. So, yeah, thank you guys for your support. Hit that like and subscribe button. This was probably better than our normal Thursday throwdown videos. Hit that bell sh notification. It's sure going to be shorter. Oh. oh, that's for sure. Almost like my patience in this world. All right, guys. Seriously, thank you so much for watching. Not to discount the votes you made. I really did get a lot of votes for my team. Simeon got a lot of consistent votes for his team. I really, truly do appreciate all the people that voted, Jedi Legend, uh, What's Crabbing, uh, Ethan Beck, Alex Morse, Chance McCall, Wes B, Jesse R, Tristan C, T.A. Mu, T.A. Mu, Win Vincent, Malcolm Rush. Seriously, and there's a few people not named here because I forgot to write down some of your names, but like legitimately, thank you so much. Thank you so much for voting. I, I really, truly love, love making these videos. Um, Simeon, it's your go. My sanity's gone. I just, let's, wow. yeah. I apologize, guys. It should have been a, an actual, <laughs> real fun video. Me and Calder had a good time up until the point where we realized that none of the video was playable. Like, it, it was audio only, and even then it wasn't even good audio. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Yep. And uh, let yep. us know if you want to see more Tabletop Simulator. Because other than DC, most of the stuff for marvel is at least there so we'll try and do it all right time. well as they say happy trails my spurs go jingle jangle jingle jingle jangle happy, as we go riding trails. merrily along jingle jangle and they sing they sing oh ain't you glad you're single no actually i'd like someone to share this miserable existence with <laughs> that's not 
Hero clicks players. Oh. Uh, I wish there was a ranger with a big iron on his hip to put me out of my misery at this point. Uh, I, I agree. Oh.